Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagares. Hope you're doing fantastic where you're at. This is my December 2022 RVing report and what I'm up to, my activities and uh, my opinions on various things that I've done over the month of November and previous and I plan and my plans for the future. Hope you enjoy this video. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, uh, please leave them below and make them as professional and as friendly as possible. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. So I just returned from a camping trip. Uh, the place was called Lake of the Pines, Brushy Creek Campground. It was a Corps of Engineers uh, campground. It was very nice, a beautiful, very large lake in East Texas near Jefferson, Texas. Pretty close to Shreveport. I got excellent TV reception, excellent uh, internet reception, very, very nice. And I uh, had a great time, my wife and I spent about a week down there and it rained a lot. It rained during Thanksgiving uh, the night before, all day during Thanksgiving and the night after it was raining. And of course, uh, the Saturday, uh, it rained again and again and again. So it kept on raining, and uh, but we, we enjoyed ourselves. We just went on long hikes on the sandy beach. One of the benefits of, uh, of Lake of the Pines is that it has a lot of sand. It has a lot of sandstone that's eroded into sand, sandy beaches. Very nice, very nice sandy beaches. A lot of beaches I go to are either rocky, a lot of gravel, a lot of mud, but this beach was very nice. I especially uh, would recommend going to uh, Lake of the Pines. They have various parks all the way around. It's such a large lake. Uh, you could camp there and have a great time, especially during the summer and when it's hot, when it's 110 degrees in Texas in July and August. Go down there and cool off. It's a very nice spot. Beautiful pine trees. But the first time we got out of the RV and I go, what's that? That's a great smell of pines. I really really miss that in Northern California when I used to go in the Sierras a lot. You can smell those pines. It's an A-plus smell. The smell of nature is amazing, okay? So we went there. That's the Lake of the Pines, Brushy Creek Campground, Corps of Engineers. The only complaint I have was the bathrooms were substandard, especially compared to the state of Texas, state of Arkansas uh, campgrounds. Those are excellent A-plus, not necessarily A-plus, but A uh, camp, uh, you know, facilities for the restrooms, showers. But these bathrooms, I just gave them a C. They're a little bit, you know, out of shape. They're a little bit roughed up. They uh, could use a bit of uh, TLC. Okay. I also winterized my RV just yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. I winterized my RV for the third time in one month. My first time, uh, early November, I winterized it because I knew it was going to be freezing for a couple of days here in Fort Worth, so I winterized it. I attempted to winterize it. The first time, I had the uh, valves messed up on the water heater, and, and that water heater could hold six gallons, so it, all my, all my uh, you know, RV antifreeze went to the water heater. So I wasted a lot of uh, antifreeze. Finally figured out where to switch them, and, uh, uh, and it worked out very nicely the second time second time was a charm so the next day i did it again and finally got it right after doing a lot of more research and of course i went camping in uh, east you know east texas jefferson texas lake of the pines and uh, i just did it again yesterday and it took me just a few minutes it took me 15 minutes just to get it done perfectly i'm now an absolute pro on uh, winterizing my rockwood mini light 2205s so practice makes perfect you know experience is the best teacher in a few weeks in a couple weeks two three weeks i'm going to be leaving for puebla mexico i'll be staying down there for about three weeks and I got, luckily i got a nice high house sitter my neighbor's going to be uh, checking out my house so she's going to be checking you know taking care of my residence more than helping me with my lawns and plant life uh, they're probably freeze anyway <laughs> But uh, we're going to Pueblo, Mexico, my wife and I. We're going to be taking a lot of pictures. We're going to be shooting a lot of videos. So you should, have, you should see some videos of that uh, trip. I already have videos up of my uh, Lake of the Pines trip. So you should enjoy those videos quite a bit. I plan to do a series 
on infrastructure, some of the buildings, some of the materials they use, and uh, some of the designs, and just do a series of photographs of those, and also maybe shoot some video, too, of the various uh, trips, restaurants, and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I'm not a professional YouTuber. I don't make a lot of money on YouTube. And it's not how I support myself. So this is just mainly my vacation photographs I'm going to be sharing with you. And, of course, I have a very casual style and presentation for my videos in uh, YouTube, uh, you know, documentaries and stuff like that. I'm very easygoing. I'm not going to jump up, be super chipper, et cetera, et cetera. So, but it's going to be a lot of fun. My wife, uh, the professor of the art historian, is going to, of course, take us to a lot of museums in Mexico, a lot of uh, churches in Mexico, a lot of uh, interesting buildings and uh, libraries and, of course, universities in Puebla and that surrounding area. Should be a lot of fun. Again, my wife teaches this stuff in her university classes. She's a Latin American art uh, expert, and she writes on the subject, wrote many articles, books, etc., etc., for books and stuff. And she just finished a book on an American artist just recently. So Pueblo, Mexico, and its surrounding areas, I look forward to visiting, taking taxis, taking buses, walking around town, and it should be a lot of fun. If you have any suggestions for Pueblo, Mexico, please leave your comments, suggestions, and uh, whatever ideas you have below you know, you know, in the comment section. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very, very, very much. Muchas gracias. And then I'm, uh, my wife this weekend, we're planning to start doing some reservations of campsites for the spring and also for the late summer, midsummer, because, you know, you have to <laughs> reserve way in advance if you want to get some of those really nice campsites. You know, the weekend warriors always, you know, know what they're doing. They're going to get that campsite, that very nice campsite uh, for Saturday and Sunday, and the rest of the week it's going to be empty. But we like to have for a whole week or a week and a half to go camping someplace nice. And hopefully we get some pull-through sites. That would be nice. And so the back end sites, we like the pull-through sites and with water and electricity. That would be very nice. You know, we're used to dumping, uh, you, know, you know, on the way out, just like everybody else. But uh, I'm looking forward to doing that. In fact, I'm thinking about getting one of those uh, uh, turd toters. What do you call those things? Those, uh, those uh, honey wagons, the little tiny ones that you drag on behind your truck and do some dump and buy one of those and again if you have any suggestions recommendations camco or some of the other lines of uh, those toters <laughs> please leave your friendly professional and and highly valuable and brilliant comments below i would greatly appreciate it so we're planning to, again reserve in advance we've learned our lesson you know three months is not good enough you need about six months nine months <laughs> to pay to reserve some of the nicer spots if they're available. Sometimes they have a, shirt, a certain window, like a three-month three, three month window. Some have a six-month window. Some have an 11th-month window. If you want to reserve for this for uh, August, in uh, so for example, along the uh, Florida coast, you better start reserving now. That's how, that's how it works out. Okay. So, again, we're also going to be going to uh, May. We're going to uh, California. My, one of my grandchildren is graduating high school. She's a very good student. Uh, we're going to hang out with my family, my, my daughter, her husband, the sheriff, and uh, all that stuff, and uh, family down there. And then we're going to stay with that, my, my daughter for a while. Then we're going to stay with my niece for a while. Then we're going to stay with some friends of my wife for a while. So we'll be in San Rafael, San Francisco, uh, Pleasanton, and, uh, and other parts of the community, San Jose, etc. So it should be a lot of fun. That's one of my trips. And then my uh, wife's nephew, I guess that's my nephew now, uh, he's a University of Iowa graduate. He's going to be uh, getting married. And they're going to have a wedding in Chicago and also a reception in Cresco, Iowa. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I've never been to Chicago. My wife, she's an Iowa gal. A Minnesota gal, so she's been to Chicago quite a bit. I have a lot of friends who uh, uh, grew up in Chicago, and uh, they say, hey, check out this pizza joint, check out that place, check out this. So my wife yeah, has a lot of friends in that area, so, and family, of course, and we're going to have a lot of fun. That's going to be in August around there sometime. Who knows? And, of course, in June, my wife is supposed to. If she gets the appropriate amount of students, so the class has to fill up before she gets, she can, uh, you know, say it's going to happen. 
so we're going to be going to Berlin in June for several weeks. Well, as my wife teaches an art history class uh, in Berlin over there, and it should be a lot of fun. I've never been to Europe. I've never been to Chicago. I've never been to New York City. I've never been to a lot of places. I've never been to Philadelphia. The list goes on. I've never been to Maine. I would like to go to Maine one of these days. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of places I haven't gone to. So Berlin should be a lot of fun. I'm always going to be teaching this class. I'm thinking about, you know, catching a train from there to Paris, maybe stay in a hotel for one or two days. Maybe then they also take a train to like a Barcelona or Bruges or somewhere and stay down there for a couple of days and, you know, head back to Berlin. My wife won't miss me. She's a, she used to have me around. Just so, you know, three, four, five, six, seven days, she shouldn't be totally upset. She, she leaves all the time. She travels a lot. I mean a lot. And of course, it's all on the university dime. So she always says, uh, they're paying for me. They're not paying for you, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to be paying for myself to go to Berlin, and I'm going to be using my own credit cards. Hey, thank you very much. So I hope you're doing fantastic. Those are my plans. I'll probably tell you more of my plans in uh, my January about my regurgitate the stuff that I'm playing ahead of after that. But I just thought I'd talk about those right now. Have any ideas, suggestions, and recommendations for my travels? Any places that you would recommend to go to in Chicago, Berlin? I know all the places in the Bay Area, but, you know, stuff like that. I would greatly appreciate it. Leave your kind and super friendly comments below. Hello. Muchos, muchos, muchos gracias. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, thank you very, very much. From Fort Worth, Texas, soon to be on the road, you know, in Mexico, the West Coast, over there by Chi Town, uh, Berlin, maybe even Paris and Bruges or Barcelona. I do speak the language if I went to Spain. That's one of the benefits of going to Spain. I can actually speak the language. That should be st pretty straightforward, asking for, a, for, some, uh, for some sausage and some huevos uh, in a plate and say, hey, por favor, quiero uno, algo simple, un almuerzo simple, no más. Nada muy uh, curioso, okay? Hope you're doing fantastic. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza with his December 2022 RVing report. Hope you appreciate it. This is my life. Hope you're having a fantastic and exciting life too. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.